What is going on guys and girls? Welcome back to CK2, Holy Fury and King Magnus of Norway. Now in the last episode, our brother died very, very young at the age of 25 of an infected wound um, while he was defending his people from Muslim raiders. And this has uh, thrown us a bit in chaos because now we have lost the Kingdom of England. We do have a strong claim, um, but that means we actually have to conquer it back. And I think we definitely will conquer it conquer it or retake it uh, from our brother-in-law Morka who is now the king of England because first of all we have a claim secondly we still have like holdings in Cornwall and you know up here so we're still present on the isles and thirdly we have a very good relation with Earl Tosdick of York he is our friend and so I think we will have to help him he's probably asking for help because otherwise um it's very likely that Morka is going to revoke York from him, and we have to help him out. So, uh, we're also currently still in a war, so we're present here anyway, so we're definitely going to get England back. But once that has happened, I feel like Magnus is going to be more focused on Scandinavia. I'm going to try and form, like, a Scandinavian empire. Now, I've already been checking out possible marriage candidates. There is not really any good option out there, and um, there is... There, I mean, there's some interesting options, but most of these women, or, yeah, well, girls, are very young. For example, Ingeborg Stenkild's daughter, she's got a weak claim on the Kingdom of Sweden. She's also been baptized by Pope Alexander, which is also kind of cool. Um, and I, I'm kind of debating marrying her, but she's only seven years old. It's going to take another seven years of no children, at which point Magnus would be 34 and still no heir. And that seems like a really bad idea, because we don't really have a whole lot of family members anymore and so I think the best option to go for right now is to actually marry our brother's wife and um, because we already know she's fertile she's already given birth to a healthy daughter well I think she's healthy now oh, well she's still sickly but at least she is fertile that's something we know and we also know that uh, this will likely create an alliance with her brother uh, her father, Duke William the Bastard. Yeah, he's now our father-in-law, and he is quite capable in, you know, in military matters, a brilliant strategist. He does bring a lot of men, and he's relatively close. So, um, with, a with any fights in England, uh, William might actually help us. We'll have to see. Anyway, we'll take the money here, because Magnus is quite a greedy man, but even still, I would have probably taken the money. It's just more useful than prestige. Uh, we actually do have quite a lot of money. Look at this. Almost a thousand gold. That's not too bad. Uh, we're currently trying to build a war chest. Uh, we're a very ambitious man, zealous, but we are humble, honest. Um, so this is, this is interesting. It, it is an interesting character. Um, we are... As I said, I think our goal will be to form a Scandinavian empire after we have retaken England for ourselves. Yeah, so currently business focus, building war chests is all good. We need to uh, nominate a successor. I think I will be nominating uh, Christina, my niece, and uh, my brother's yeah, my brother's daughter, I guess. There we go. Uh, also, I need to appoint new people to the council. I would like to wait until we've actually retaken England, but that doesn't really seem to be possible. So for now... Sigurd Sea Devil will be our court chaplain. He's also our court physician, and he wants to marry. I wonder if I can arrange a marriage for him now that he's a... Uh... Yeah, apparently I can. All right, in that case, you'll be married to... You're 34. Mm, an Anglo-Saxon. Well, you want to marry. You're 19 years old. Both of the 19-year-olds want to marry. Athelhild, Godgifu... Or Ragnhild. I don't really like her all that much. I like her a lot more. So you you can marry her. There you go. Okay, other than that, we still need a marshal. We can to our subjects. I don't think we're going to do that. Uh, and steward is necessary as well. Okay, let's check the marshal position first. You seem good. And then the steward, I'll pick you. Okay, collect some taxes. That's definitely something I want to do. We can also make a crown focus here what else we've got too many titles hmm. it's a bit annoying and i need to designate a new regent and for that position i'm choosing my cousin duke scofte of viken right here so uh, once again his our mother was is of this family right so that's kind of the connection there he's our cousin and he does like us a lot he's content so i do trust him 
um, to be to be honest and true. And he actually is a really good character. Look at this. He's got a lot of virtues. So I, I actually have a really good feeling about this. Anyway, ruler still uncrowned. We need to organize one of these uh, coronation ceremonies, but we can't do this while we're at war. So we need to make sure that this war is finished quickly. Okay, we fulfilled our ambition to build a war chest. That's good. So let me quickly check if there's a new ambition we can go for. Create a treasury. Wants to gather artifacts to put into treasury. Groom an heir. Now, what is our most important thing right now? I think maybe, maybe we want to create a treasury. Although this would give us extra fertility. I think an heir right now is kind of more important. Uh, I think that's kind of more important. So we'll go for that. And we'll see how that goes. Okay. No way of our dynasty. Um, right. Our cousin is currently being... Uh, voted for. I understand that, um, yeah, I mean, Christina isn't the best choice. It's just the best choice I have. And apparently, I can still rename her. For as long as they are located within your sub realm, underage kinsmen can be renamed at any point before they reach the age of 11. That is really cool. I love that. Um, I'm not going to do this, but it's, it's great to know. Okay, Count Colbine has died of gout, and we have inherited Nordland. Okay, so we have severely... Uh, yeah, too many titles, that's for sure. Um, we have basically the entire coastline under our control, as well as this province here. I would love to give it out, but I just don't quite know who I can give this to. And so, maybe I'll just keep it for now. There's this tribesman that I don't want to give it to. Hmm. It's a tough decision. We don't really have any friends, any courtiers, maybe? We do have this mayor... Uh, I'm going to ransom him. He's not that important to me anymore. I'll take the money as well. And I might even ransom the Duke of Essex. Because why not? He's been ex excommunicated, so we'll be able to imprison him again if we wanted to. Um, so that's all good. Alright, moving on. I need to give out these titles. I just don't know who to give it to. Okay, you've paid your ransom. Wow, we are so freaking rich. I love that. Uh, one weak claim can be pressed... I would love to claim England. Uh, we can't do this while we have our own troops raised. I understand. In fact, you know, how many... Oh, you've switched your capital. How many troops do you have? Wait, you're in a war? Attacking... Oh, he's attacking his brother in the Dejure War over Mercia. He's got 4,000 men. We've got a lot more than that. You know what I want to do is I want to split off retinues... Event spawned. Wait, hold on. So if I split off the retinue, we get 700. Do I even have men raised? I do. Hmm. Why can I not split off every everyone? I can only... That's so weird. I'm not sure if I actually have men raised. I'm slightly confused. But anyways, we'll take your ransom. And I hope this war is going to be over here very soon. And I don't know what's going to happen um, here. If this is going to be our vassal. Or how this will work exactly. I guess we'll find out. Now, I would not mind uh, actually capturing Morka here as well. If I, if I can. Anyway, my marshal tells me if my commanders have improved. Oh, that's excellent. And you want peace. White peace, I don't think so. Because what happens if I win? You are imprisoned. Okay. You are still excommunicated as well. Alright, well, I'll stay here for now. We'll make sure that he doesn't unsiege this. Let's actually attack his army here. I don't even know who's leading this. Alright, we don't really have the greatest, uh, yeah, marshals, but that's fine. Ah, we... oh, man. Okay, we have to do this. We have to... Probably fight Morka's army here just because I um, I don't think I can peace out while lands are occupied, right? Yes, so we need to actually make sure that Morka does not hold any lands here. Okay, a marriage offer here, Prince of Denmark and our courtier Martha. Uh, sure, I mean, why not? I'll agree. And here comes another battle. We might even capture Morka. Morka the Inquisitor, as he's now known. <laughs> Quite interesting. His heir is... Avar Dynasty? Hmm. 
No, that's the uh, Dan Danish dynasty, interestingly. Okay, a Danish king would uh, control England. Well, that's something we don't want. Okay, but you are crushed. The craftsmen that we funded a couple of years ago have returned. Oh, very nice. Apparently, we funded craftsmen. That's what, something the AI did. And wow, we are absolutely rich. That's so cool. Okay, you are destroyed. Let's make sure we unseage this. 99%. Will you agree? No. You won't give up yet. That's so frustrating. Okay, we'll crush your army one more time. And that should be enough. A Kurt chaplain bursts into our chambers, flanked by several warriors, dragging Orm with them in chains. Uh, there are many concerned peasants claiming that their children are plagued by nightmares of this man. He's obviously a warlock. Orm. Uh, he's shy. Throw him in a dungeon. Orm was imprisoned. Um, bring out the branding iron. Fine. B uh, we'll bring him in. Put him into the dungeons. Sure. Uh, why not? I, I can't really deal with this right now. I could have burned him as well, but... no, nah, I think this is fine. We don't need to burn him right now. Okay, 100%. So, let me see how this goes. Are you going to be my... Yes, you are actually my vassal. Now, that is very interesting. That is very interesting. Okay, and you are no longer at war. He's apparently given out some lands. Now, you're actually defending against a peasant revolt. And you look like you've been fighting recently. Dual victory, lack of funds. Your brother's imprisoned. Hmm. Okay, well, so, how does this work now? Can I stand down troops? No, I can't. We'll have to wait. Still can't. We're still considered to be in enemy territory, which is obviously not the case. Hmm, that bothers me. This is clearly not enemy territory. What if I go to Whale, uh, to uh, Cornwall? Maybe that will change it. Oh, yeah, so what to do with uh, Edwin? I think we can... We could banish him. No, that might be a bit much. Lift Ark's communication, request his claim. Can I just revoke a title? I could. I could revoke a duchy. And uh, I might. I might. Oh, look at this. You've got your wife pregnant. That's good, Jodolf. Uh, you're hopefully going to be my vassal soon again. Um, we'll, we'll see. And Dagmar as well. Anyway, so. What to do now? Organize a coronation ceremony. Holding a grand tournament. That's probably important. It's probably pretty important. What to do with you? Can I revoke several titles? So, who could I give lands to up here? This man. With guard dogs. A left-handed weakling. Who's one-eyed, one-legged, and one-handed. <laughs> that is pretty amazing. So, what's this... Uh, what's Lancaster, actually? This is part of Lancaster as well. Count Serwolf. None of these guys seem particularly great. Shrewsbury, you're ambitious. You're imprisoned. You're a Pope man. Maybe Prince Bishop Edric, you're also ambitious. Mm. But yeah, I'm thinking... Okay, here's what I think. I will revoke the Duchy of Lancaster from you. And we'll give that to someone else. Uh, maybe this cruel man, Admin of Chester... I think you will be the one that will receive this title. Duchy of Lancaster. There you go. So that makes one person a bit happier. And uh, it, it weakens you. I wonder if I can revoke another title of you. I cannot. Okay. That people would find upsetting. So let me see if you can ransom yourself. You can't. Alright, that's fine by me then. Anyway, let's get here. Let's see if this is now friendly territory. Still not. That's so odd. Why? It annoys me, actually. Why is this not considered friendly territory? Right, so these are only going to be able to transport a thousand men. Okay, I need more ships. What about uh, the Count of Beacon? Come on, you've got plenty of ships. 
Should be good. Actually, that's still not enough. Right, Orkney, come on. There you go. That should be fine. Plenty of ships now. Okay. No! What? Come on, why? Why would you commit suicide? He's not even depressed or anything. How... How is that a thing? Your wife is pregnant. Who inherited? The Duke. Oh man. Wow. Well, that sucks. Okay, we're gonna have to keep an eye on your wife. And maybe even invite her to court. Uh, what if I send you... A gift. Okay, let's invite her to court. Just because I, w I want to be in control of that child. Um, wow, okay, that sucks. Why would you commit suicide? There's no reason. Anyway. So you've arrived. Okay, so we'll, we'll have uh, Chodolf's child. Hopefully it's going to be a strong one. But man, that is very upsetting. Castle walls have been built somewhere. Yeah, I definitely mean to improve... I still can't stand down my guys. That's so annoying. I mean, I could stand them down, but I would lose troops. So, I kind of don't want to. Um, you will... I'll let you rot in the dungeon. Um, but, once you have enough money, you can ransom yourself. That's fine. Okay, a daughter was born named Agatha. Alright, well, there you go. And she's not... Oh, so this is so weird. She's considered a lowborn. That is so strange. Um, but obviously we'll keep an eye on you. And yeah, you, I don't know. You can just stay here. I don't care about you anymore. I just care about the daughter, really. And we'll give you, hmm, probably the faith focus. There you go. Wow, that's crazy. Anyway, I've been spending countless hours sketching out plans for different building projects when you suddenly realize you have display extra extraordinary architectural skills, you will build a grand tower. I don't actually think we're going to do this because I don't... Like, we're humble, and I think the only thing a tower gives you is prestige. And so I, I don't think I I want to do that. I'd rather spend my money on something else. So, okay, we still would have this. Enemy presence in our homelands. What are you freaking talking about? I don't have any enemy presence. This, is, this annoys me. But I guess I'll have no other choice. We'll lose half of our men. Um, but you know, that's just the way it is. Uh, so now, at least, we'll be able to declare our claim on England. Uh, and I think we should. Except, our councillors are against it. What? Mayor? Our spy master is causing problems. Okay, well, in this case, we'll have to switch you out. We'll send Count Swain... Man, he's really good, but he does hate us. He wants to see in the council. Domain is too big. He's ambitious. There's some vicious rumors. Right, wasn't it Swain that told Olaf that we are problematic? Hmm. I can't really have him as my counselor. Well, this sucks. Ah... Uh... Okay, I have too many titles. I need to give out titles. I, it doesn't help. So, I think I'm going to give out this to someone at my court. Um, my steward, maybe? He's lowborn. You're lowborn. Care of Godwin, some bastard. Wait, you married? No, you didn't marry anyone. I see. You have some bastard son. Uh, he's Norwegian. Do I? Man, what do I do with this? Uh, yeah, with a child. Okay, I'm. It's, uh, managing this realm is, is tough. So I definitely know what I want to do. I want to go and uh, claim England again. But first, I will have to, you know, deal with our interior. We need to probably crown ourselves as king first. Because our vassals are quite unhappy. 
and uh, yeah, only only then I can really move on forward. So what I'm going to be doing is I will give out some titles. I will try and find a uh, a better spy master, and uh, then we're going to be able to go to war with England. But that will obviously happen next time. Today's video was brought to you by my glorious supporters over at Patreon. And right now, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And before you leave, I'd love to have you subscribed so you can stay updated on all the new releases.